Hi there, today we're unboxing a blind motor. So this particular one is by a company called Benxmart. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes in a brown box with a slight image printed of the actual motor model there. Okay, if we come in close, it says blinds drive, latest blinds drive design makes your traditional manual shades neat and tidy perfectly. Okay, coming around here, nothing much on there. And that's it. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So we've got a card, and this card is in Chinese on both sides. I'm guessing it could be a quality control card. Next, you've got a small bag with two screws and two raw plugs. Then we've got a 3M sticky pad for sticking the actual blind engine. Okay, then you've got three cogs, different sizes, obviously depending on the actual string that it's going to be attaching on. Next, we've got a power adapter. And let me come in close on there just to show the output. So it's 8.4 volts and 0.5 amps. Cable length on this is approximately 135 centimeters. DC adapter on there for connecting and build quality of the cable feels good. The connector itself for the plug, not UK, so I'll have to use a travel adapter to test this out. Okay, next we've got some instructions. And if I open that up, just to show all in English, and looks pretty straightforward. So just to know, this particular blind engine isn't smart, meaning it doesn't integrate with things like Smart Life, Tuya, or even Amazon Alexa or the Google Home. So it's a standalone product. You connect via Bluetooth on an app, and that's how you'd really connect and use it. Okay, so next we've got a solar panel. So this is used to provide a trickle charge to the actual blind engine. So the build quality of this feels fairly good. Two suction pads on there, nothing on the other side other than these details, let me show. Yeah, and the cable length on this is 90 centimeters. Okay, so finally, we've got the actual blind engine. So in terms of height, it's 16 and a half centimeters. The width is four centimeters and the depth is 3.7 centimeters. So not too big in size. You've got two buttons up and down here. You've got a flap here that if I open up, that's where the cogs would go. So if I pick one, so obviously you've got to pick the one relevant to your actual blind and slot it on. And obviously this clips into that just to cover it up. One thing about the design I didn't like, they should have had the flaps open. Obviously they give you the option of snapping off what you need to on this. So if you wanted to put it, I guess, like so, so you could snap off the relevant bits. I think it's a bit silly really. So obviously you want it in a way all opened up so you don't need to snap anything off. So don't like that idea on there. Okay, coming around here, turn it around you've got 8.4 volts DC set and sensor. So obviously that's this, the actual solar power here, sensor there. Okay, so here we've got 8.4 volts DC coming in. You've got a set button and the point where the sensor, the solar power panel actually gets plugged in. Okay, and if I now lift that, there's a slider bar here and it sits on there. So obviously, if I pull that out again, you can see some steps on there. So once you install it, if you wanted to increase the tension, you can just sort of pull it down and get it tense. Two holes on there, obviously for mounting. Come around here just to show. Okay, so here we've got a sticker saying no manual operating. And that's it, build quality seems fairly good on there. Okay, so installation of the actual blind motor is pretty straightforward. You've got these cogs, obviously I've highlighted them before, but obviously find the relevant cog for your actual uh, string or ball chain. So in this instance, if I just show there, it actually fits in quite well on this. So this is the correct cog for it. So if I just slot the other end in here, I've already mounted the back plate, so quite straightforward, obviously two screws. I've got a bit of wood here. Obviously I've reviewed some other blind engines rather than make random holes. 
I'm just screwing it straight into this wood. Okay, so in terms of positioning, when you do initially pos position it, make sure you've got a bit of slack to push it down. So if I now put the ball chain on there and let me get it into the correct position. So it's just up here. I push it straight down and you can see it's loose here. If I pull down and tense it up and that's it, as simple as that to get fitted. Now, obviously it has a battery in there. So if there's power in there, you don't need to charge this up straight away. So if I just press it, you can see it does work. And obviously that confirms that the motor's strong enough and the cog's correct for actually lifting and lowering the actual blind. So let's show that again. So you know you've installed it correctly. Okay, so next we can install the actual solar panel that comes with this, which is this one. Very straightforward, obviously the connector on there goes into the sensor point, which is there. And that's it, simple as that. So next, we just put it back again, put the chain on, and obviously lock it into position. Tense again, and obviously with this, if I reveal the window, just push it straight on. And there you go. Okay, so in terms of operating this blind engine, you have a number of modes. If I press it singular, you can just see it slowly moves. If I hold on to it, release, it will continue moving. If I stop it, I can press any button just to stop it. Once it starts going, if I do the other way, let it go, just press it, it just stops. Okay, so the first thing to do is obviously set the top height and the bottom height on this. So you can do it manually from the brined engine if you wanted to, and that's quite straightforward. So if I just hold on to the set button underneath for a few seconds until the red light comes on. Yeah, so it's come on. So the next thing we need to do is set the top position. So if I raise it, let it go all the way to the top. Once we know it's there at the top, we can just stop it like so. Okay, now once it's set, I can just go back to the blind engine and then we just hold on to the button until it flashes blue. So I'm clicking the set button at the bottom and it's just flashed blue briefly. So that's the top position now set. Next, we just need to set the lower position. So I'll hold on to it and let the blind come down now. Let's give it a moment. Okay, once it reaches the position I want it in, I'll stop it and that's where I want it to stop. Let's let it come down a little bit more. I think that should be fine. And now, same again, just hold on to the button underneath for a few seconds, blue light flashes. Okay, so now the actual bottom position is set. So now if I go up slightly, stop it for a second, let's let it go down now. And there you go, it stopped straight away at the bottom. Let's raise it a little bit more just to show that again. I'll come away from it. And there you go, it stopped. Let's see if it saved the top position as well. And there you go, top position saved as well. So as simple as that to get both positioning saved on there. Okay, so next, let's install the app for this device. So if I go to the Play Store and we search for AOK, -okay, and it's the top one there, so Blind Engine. If we click on that, click Install. Let's give it a moment to install. Okay, so now it's installed, let's click Open. It needs access to the location, we'll allow that. Okay, so this is what you initially presented with. If I click the plus icon, there you go. It's picked up the device straight away. So it's connecting via Bluetooth. So my Bluetooth is on also on my phone. So if I now click AOK, -okay, tells you adding device guide. So we've done all this, it's called straightforward. Blind engine, install correctly, next step. It's asking for a password. The default password is four eights. And there you go, that's what you're presented with. So you can set the device name so you can change it. Okay, next you've got blind style setting. So my one's roller shade, but these are the other options you have. So Venetian blind, vertical blind, honeycomb shade, 
triple shade and zebra shade. Okay, coming back, then you've got change password, so you can change that default password. Blind direction setting, so you can switch it around. Upper limit setting, you can change that. We've already set that, so we don't need to change. And bottom limit setting, and then moving speed setting, so it's on maximum at the moment, but you can slow it down. So it's not super fast, but it does do the job. Okay, next you've got dot continuous setting. Okay, dot continuous move shift is off. Then you've got winter summer mode setting. The motor doesn't connect with a light sensor. Okay, then you've got blind timing list. Okay, so you can set timers on there. So you can set the position to change at certain times of day. Okay, next you can delete the device and finally factory default reset. So it's simple as that to get the app installed and set up. Okay, so next let me show how to set the timer on this blind engine. So looking down the list, we've got something called blind timing list. If I click on that, click on the plus and we can position the blind where we want. So as it's in the open position, let's take it down a little bit. So you can even set different lengths on this so you could go halfway for instance like i've got there and let's set the timer for 1705 so 17 there 05 there click on duplication we can say what days of the week we want it to happen click ok click save and that's enabled now let's click set another one we'll set it completely open and we'll do go for 17 06 and there you go you've got to enable them so okay so if we come out of that and let's wait a moment now and there you go how cool is that so we've set the timer and we can set different positions for it and just leave it to do its job excellent functionality Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show was the fact that you're not limited to just using the actual blind motor buttons on there. So if you go into the app and once it's connected, if you just click on it, you have the interface available. And if I drag down, you can drag down to whatever height you want. So let's give it a moment. Okay, it's gone there. Put it down to there. So it's nice having these controls just to set the height you want on there. And even obviously you've seen the timer allows you to do that as well. Let's close it completely. And if you didn't want to mess around setting it like that, you can click the complete open or the close as well. And while it's going, if I hit open, okay, got to hold on to it for a second. You can see the battery power going down there. Obviously it was at 37 and it's already lost a good few percent on there. So it's good to see this in action and there you go it's completely open now and if i now press close once you can see it just moves a little bit and if i hold on to it for a second there you go it initiates it so excellent functionality so a couple of things to note about this blind engine so first of all you can't remotely control this this doesn't connect to the internet it's only connecting via Bluetooth in your property. So when you're away, you won't be able to control this, which is a bit of a shame. It would have given the product a real edge, I would have thought, if you could control it remotely. But with that in mind, you've got to remember, it will consume more power if that was the case. So it would need a constant supply, hence why the battery wouldn't be suitable. So you've seen some of the other blind engine reviews I've already done, I hope. And with those in mind, those are always plugged in, hence why they're able to remotely open and close. Also, it doesn't connect to a Google Home or an Amazon Alexa. So that's a bit of a shame as well. So that's the only negative points. Other than that, I actually think it's a really good blind engine. I like the fact that you don't need to plug it into the mains and it does work quite well, especially the timer as well. I really like that functionality. You can just set your times and just leave it after that. And if you wanted anything more, you could go over to the actual blind engine, press the buttons on the engine, or go to your app and control it via the app. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.